All right. Thank you for uh, coming to At Home Crypto today. I'm Alan Williamson here. Uh, we've been, if you're following all of the channels, the, uh, all of the videos on this channel, we're working on our AS Rock H81 Pro BTC motherboard. We have our 16 gigs of RAM, two 8 gigs each. We have our Intel i7 processor, that's the 4790 that's in there. And now we're going to uh, put in the GPU. We're using the Radeon RX 580, 8 gigabit, 12 DirectX, and it's DDR5 VR ready. This is, I'm pretty proud of this. I like it. 8 gigabits on this. This is uh, very new uh, for right now. It's been used though for a little bit, but it's a well known card and it should be pretty successful for us. We're going to eventually have six of those. And again, that's why we use this motherboard. One, two, three, four, five, six that you could use. And this is going to go, the one we're putting in tonight is this. I'm going to put in there. Notice these other ones are smaller. That's where we come in with our powered USB risers. It's kind of a conversion cable that's going to come up and um, sit actually within the rig. And you'll uh, eventually but uh, have six of them higher than this connected with the uh, the risers is what these are called. So tonight we're going to put it in here. Here is our Okay. Here we go. So of course you take off your sticker. It says you move before gaming. There. Off to the side. Try to save everything because you know you can resell these. So every like this came with a dr driver DVD, some stickers, a uh, nice little case inside it. So you know save it, including these plugs, the covers for the slot. There you go. Save that. And again, and if you look, surprisingly, the power up here. That's where we're going to plug our SATA power connection to our Corsair power supply. There, but that actually does not, which would make sense really because it's not needed. There, and then here we will take these off. There, but again, save them. And there, and one more. And those are all your different kind of video connections because, of course, this is a video card. But we're not going to use that. It's not going to be for gaming. This is going to be for building our mining rig. Again, we're starting with Ethereum. It's what I like and uh, really um, excited about. And we're eventually going to have six of these in this. Again, this is the MSI Radeon RX 580. Notice we put our 16 there. And you slide it in, make sure it's good and even. Now, one thing I wanted to show you there, notice this slides in. I like that they do that. So when we get this in, it's going to slide over this piece right there. Okay, so let's see it come in. Give it a good nudge. See it sliding there. And then our other side. come around we're actually gonna move this over here there you see we moved our little slider see our slider there move him in there make sure your card is good and locked there we go you notice it's keeping the motherboard now a little bit off because of the riser here normally you'd have this like in your you know in the the chassis but this is gonna be open so we're just gonna let it Sit like that, it won't be bad. And when it's in its final rig that we're going to move it to, everything's going to sit like this. Notice our holes there. We can, we're going to actually just have uh, zip ties through these because of the rig we're using. We don't need to screw them in. Yeah. Let's move this back. Now, I'm going to show you how to connect your power button. Every power, every computer needs to be turned on. This is how we do it. Uh, you usually buy these in packs of two. You'll see a link in the video. 
There they come into. I think it was like five bucks. Okay. And again, the AS Rock H81 motherboard is has they've done a fantastic job on the diagrams showing you where everything plugs in. Read the manual and you get to know this page really well. So if you looked at that, and if you come down here next to where you see SATA 3 on the motherboard, and you can actually tell, look right there, PWBTN, I think it says PWRBTN, right there is where you'll connect. See, it's even got a little line right there. You want the black out and then connect it. Okay, make sure it's good. Okay. Notice again I'm having to lift it up because of the GPU card. There. Okay. Notice how it lines up right with our so think of it also two over from the SATA 3.1 cable. There you go, that's in there good. Okay, so next video we'll be showing how to connect the Corsair power supply to this motherboard and we'll actually turn it on with our trusty power button. All right, thank you for, uh, for watching At Home Crypto. Again, I'm Alan Williamson. Hope you're enjoying this.